The Cyber Academy at Edinburgh Napier University trained police to combat internet crime. We've asked them to set up an experiment, create the kind of company website many of us place our trust in and let our hackers loose on it. So the challenge that we've set for you is we've created a broadband website. It's called British Broadband. So we've got things like credit card details, passwords. Can the hackers break into our fictitious website, British Broadband, and steal its customers' valuable data? Uh, we wish you all the best of luck. How long are you expecting them to take to get to the databases? Or... We would think in total to find all the vulnerabilities will take between two and, and four hours. The academics had created a number of vulnerabilities, ways to hack into British broadband. But our hackers found one of the easiest routes within minutes. So there's an admin user here called John. Yes, yeah. that's correct. So we found one of the usernames for the database. So they've done that in about five minutes. Is that what you expected? Well, or password took about one second to crack because yeah. it was yeah. very basic. Yeah. Password took one second. Yeah. Yeah. Mustafa has already cracked the password of the website administrator. Most passwords are easy to hack because most of us use similar passwords, and the hackers know it. A few minutes later, British Broadband's customer details are up for grabs. Got Good the questions. credit card details. Yeah, I've credit card details now. Oh. Did you find that surprisingly easy? No, I found it unsurprisingly easy. Unsurprisingly easy? Why so? Because it's not surprising how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it shows how easy it is sometimes for intruders to get into databases if the credentials are not protected properly. So they've got access to all the information on the database, but they don't have total control? Not of the computer, not no. Not, 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 but that's, not some, that's something they're going to try and do, is it? We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Minutes later, it's all over. Our hackers have complete control of the website. With just a few clicks, they take down the entire site. Woo! So if that, that was that was a, if that was a real business. Suddenly, the customers would all find that when you they go, go to the web page, it's not there anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like British Broadband's customers wouldn't be able to use the website, and their names, addresses, phone numbers, and credit card details are now in the hands of the hackers. Like anyone could do this. Yeah. So well, not like, anyone. Yeah, anyone could do this. So like, it was a, easy. A five-year-old could do this. Five-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Mustafa, how do you feel about the suspended sentence? Um, I have to go in now, so I can't really talk now. In 2013, Mustafa was given a suspended prison sentence for attacking the serious organised crime agency and the CIA. He is now one of the good guys and currently completing a computer science degree. So how typical was that website in terms of its defences? It's extremely typical. Yeah. A lot of credit card details are hacked in that way. In the real world, it will be much tougher, and obviously a, an attack could go on for weeks or, or months. But are there some websites out there that will be as vulnerable as, as this one you've set up? Yeah, uh, certainly the smaller websites that don't have a security team managing it 24-7 will typically be uh, weak.